Hey guys, what's going on? This is Norm. Uh, welcome to another edition of FaceTime with Norm, with me. And um, today, uh, I think I should explain a couple things before we dive into uh, questions. Uh, one thing is, of course, where the hell is PFW and why hasn't it been around? Work has picked up. You know, it's holiday season. I get rehired back at GameStop. And that particularly proud of that <laughs> not particularly proud of that but uh you know it is a job you know in these times when the economy is shit there you go um but uh yeah work has picked up i have two jobs now actually uh, one of them just happens to be me back at gamestop the other one is is a commission job that i haven't been to in a while and uh i haven't really had time to sit down and record much of anything for pfw and uh sorry about that i know we just started out the season and and it's it's like ooh, where the hell is it now this is like before with owf all right so yeah uh now that we got that out the way let's go into these questions from people from uh caw underground if uh you want to submit questions for the next uh facetime uh, make sure to, if you haven't made an account on CAW Underground yet, theindiesource.com slash CAW Underground, create an account, and uh, wait for a uh, topic to open up for um, questions, for, or for mailbag, for um, FaceTime. I had to take a drink of orange juice there. Um, first question, though, comes from Brent, and uh, his only question is what is the most controversial thing that has involved you in CAW um I don't think I've been in any controversial situations or 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 dealings or whatever um the only thing I I, I can probably think of that would probably classify well, at least what some people will probably classify as controversial would be the uh, Sky's title reign. Um, you know, Joey Law had held the title for for some time, and I was really struggling with who to to make OWF champion next, and I couldn't really think of anyone. And uh, it had to come to an end at some point. People were getting very tired of Joey being the champion and when people become tired they they'll start losing you know it's just like with the Triple H title reigns when Triple H continuously kept winning the title i'm sure there were people who were who were wanting to just tune out of wrestling until he lost the belt because people just didn't feel like he needed to have the belt that many times well people felt it was long enough for Joey and i, I just couldn't think of anyone to to replace him as champion and uh, I think initially it came down to Joey losing the title in a triple threat match I believe to Sky or no I think it was to James Darklight and then after James Darklight it was uh, Sky and uh, Sky didn't keep it long he kept it for a month he kept it until the next like mega event and and then that was it. it it wasn't like a very long title reign like joey had but uh, a bunch of like shit kicked up over it and uh yeah so that 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 would be the only close thing i would say to controversial as i probably i have probably been some people may talk about like the elimination chamber win or whatever um that uh, my guy had, Normster had, where he won the world title. And again, I say I don't make, I don't like making my own guy or most of my own guys champion, especially when it doesn't make sense to. So um, Normster becoming champion, it was at a time when, uh, again, couldn't find anyone who could be champion. So put the belt on the, the, the boss, right? <laughs> why not it's kind of like the whole vince mcmahon thing but except my guy can wrestle oh suck it vince suck it 
Anyways, uh, moving on. Thank you, uh, Brent. Uh, Professor Mick Foley, 299. He has questions. His first question is, uh, what is your favorite CW league of all time? Mm. I would have to say, and I haven't watched a lot of fantasy CW in a while. Uh, I would have to say DWL. DWL is kind of the basis for OWF. And uh, I, I started OWF and the, the, the way I formatted some of the shows were, were kind of after DWL. Um, so I, I would have to say DWL. What is your favorite CAW mega event of all time? I don't know. I, I, I sincerely don't know. I, I really don't. I can't say I have a favorite mega event of all time, to be honest with you. Actually, I have enjoyed a, a few of them. Uh, um, it was one of the destinies where you had Shang Tsung and uh, I think it was like Mystique and there's transformation thing match. <laughs> that was pretty cool. I like that one. But yeah. What was your favorite show to work on? Ah, uh, I can't name one, but any show where I, you know, any show where it had a, a very significant feud that was headlining the show. So like Summer Slambury four or five, uh, where Joey Law and Normster were going at it, Chris Chambers and Rick Rancid. Uh, Killer Ghost uh, becoming the first champion all the way back in the first one. Uh, so many, you know. Those are some of my favorite shows to, to work on. Not just mega events, but shows as well. Uh, you know, the Friday hustles and, and enigmas and matchups and everything. I don't have a favorite one, you know, because there's so many that I like because most of the shows I've done that, that, that I really like have had significant value or like a significant thing that has gone on that shows in that episode of of the show so uh it's really cool um but i i can't say i really have a favorite all right uh thank you mick foley uh, for your questions jack pagnation is next his first question what is your opinion on the state of caw um I'm not Barack Obama. <laughs> I'm the wrong person to ask this question to because um, I, as much as I think this is a great hobby to be a part of, I've met many great people over, ooh, excuse me, over the years of, of doing CAW. Um, I can't say the state i can't give you the state of caw because caw is not uh, a government it's not um it's not the united states it's not england it's not a country it's a hobby and um you know it it caw doesn't make money like they you see you see nfl network they do the state of the redskins they do the state of of the nfl or whatever and that's completely fine that they have a state of, but I don't think that that belongs here in this hobby. There, there is no state of CAW. There, there is just CAW. CAW is going to have ups. It's going to have downs. Right now, when we're getting near, uh, when we're getting near, we're we're in the, in school time now. We're out of the summer breaks, so people don't have time to do CAW like they used to P or people have jobs uh, so CAW is going to have an up and it's going to have a down um, and there you go uh, what is your all time favorite CAW match I think I mentioned it earlier it was uh, Shang Tsung versus Mystique I, I love that match to death <laughs> and it's only because of the really cool things that happened in that match, just shape shifting, and then it became so confusing for me because I, I couldn't keep up with who was who, who was Shang Tsung and who was Mystique, or who was this and that, and they all became like the same person at one time. And I was like, "What is this craziness? Who is doing this? Why are they doing this to me?" <laughs> 
So I have to say that would be my all-time favorite match. Uh, have you been in leagues you wanted to be in? I think I've submitted my guys to leagues. Uh, you know, CAWD, even though, even though I don't think I was really used that much in CAWD. DMW, uh, UT is a, a, a good person. Has some great matches that he's uh, booked. And uh, PWH, um, CPW, CXA, I think I, I submitted a couple guys. I think my guy and a couple other guys of my guys, too. So, yeah, I think I've, I've been in leagues that I've wanted to. I think I, I had a short stint in TUWL at one point. <laughs> I'm not sure. Uh, yeah, so thank you, uh, Jackpack Nation, for your fantastic questions. Uh, last questions come from Sky, and he has a lot of them. His first one, as we start off, is, oh, you didn't know? Well, your ass better. I'm not going to go through that. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Uh, two. So yeah, the Redskins. What's up? I thought RG three was the savior. Um, RG three is the savior. <laughs> no, RG three hasn't had a bad season as a rookie quarterback. Uh, it's the secondary, and I know, you know, this question was submitted like last week when the Redskins were going into a bye week and all that other stuff, and they they really haven't shown that they've changed much. But it's the secondary for the Redskins. It's 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 not the offense. It's not RG 3s fault. It it's really that secondary. And I always and I started saying after the the last game, uh, not the game that just passed against the Eagles, but I I've I felt that we needed to trade that the Redskins need to trade D'Angelo Hall because D'Angelo Hall is just being a a, a prick, you know. D'Angelo Hall has just, you know, the the unnecessary the unnecessary things he does during games. It's just it, we don't need that on this team when we're trying when a, t a team that is trying to show, hey, you know, we've changed. We have this new franchise quarterback. We've bolstered our our wide receiving core. You know, we have a pretty good defense, and then D'Angelo Hall comes along and he he does something stupid. You know, if you notice a lot of the games that the Redskins have lost, they have lost because in the last in the closing minute or the closing seconds of the game, a big penalty has taken them out of range for field goal to tie the game up or take the lead or well, no, it's just penalties. It started with Josh Morgan. And then uh, another penalty, uh, you know, like two weeks ago with D'Angelo Hall. And uh, there's a couple more games where, you know, we, we've just had senseless penalties that have just screwed, uh, that have just screwed the Redskins out of games. Period. Uh, three, do you watch the league? If not, do it. Uh, I've heard of the league. I haven't watched it. Um, I have friends who watch it. I think it's what is a little fantasy football thing. And uh, I think I've stayed away from it because I hear about sports so much. And, you know, while I'm on Skype that I, I just I try not to watch a lot of sports related shows now. I, I try to stick to, ga to, to, to games. I try to stick to a lot of shows like uh, Suits or uh, not Burn Notice, but Suits and uh the middle and and shows like that you know shows that not only are, are really good but some of them are actually pretty funny yeah so yeah sorry about that uh four why well, is no matter how old you get legos are always fun to build it's the kid in you it's always the kid in you uh five why change the name of owf and its titles if it all stays the same um there's the thing that has been kind of giving me a headache the past, like, three episodes past for PFW is that, um, you know, I posted all of these news wires and all of these updates for PFW and for OWF going over into PFW. And I swear, during those times, I explained... Uh, in 
somewhat in detail um, that this was a rebranding of OWF and that the roster and the feuds were going to stay the 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 titles and the pay-per-view names or CPV or mega events whatever you want to call them you know a lot of those things were going to change and uh, a lot of other things were going to change along with going to PFW and it seemed like no one really read those so now you get questions like well why change the name to this or why the name change you know if everything is the same if there's nothing really different from what the the last league you did so because people are now listening <laughs> and you know it is frustrating to have to to repeat yourself more than once but i'll do it this time um it's a rebranding and uh it's one of those things like i said that yeah the the feuds and the roster is going to carry over into pfw and i said that but there are going to be some things that you will notice that are definitely different from you know things that are done a completely somewhat a completely different way from what how i did it in owf so it's a rebranding it's not a com it's somewhat of a new start but it's not a complete new start there you go that's the best way i can describe it uh number six slide dread or the new dread um i've i don't think i've seen either one and i'm sure people are gonna go what i i get that reaction a lot when i say i don't i haven't seen a movie or a television show or something but mostly movies oh you haven't seen this movie what is wrong with you you know that's like the person you walk up to if you're a big star wars fan and and you ask them, have you ever seen Star Wars? And they go, no. And you, you'll just sit there and your mind is blown. Pretty much. <laughs> but yeah. I, I've heard great things about the, the new Dread though. So I, I might have to pick up the, the Blu-ray when it comes out. Or if it's out already, I have to pick that up maybe Black Friday. Uh, number seven. What comic book slash, or comic books, I'm sorry, slash graphic novels do you try to keep up with? None. <laughs> I, uh... I tried to keep up with uh, some of the new 52 stuff at one point and then I completely stopped or I think I couldn't find another place to download comics or to um, yeah to view comics or whatever so I, I just stopped trying to keep up with that stuff um, number eight did you follow AVX if so your thoughts if not why not uh let me be honest with you. I haven't heard of Avengers versus X Men, so I haven't been following it. Uh, I probably will search around and see if I can find some uh, preview material or something to see if I would like it or not. But uh, yeah, that's that's pretty much the reason why. Because I haven't really heard of it, uh, and if I have, then I've completely forgotten about it and and, and gotten too lazy to follow it. Uh, number eight. Did you, f oh no, I'm sorry, number nine. <laughs> Why do people cream their pants for Halo, Madden, other games that follow the same formula, only differences, better graphics, or new character? Um, I can't tell you why people, like, jizz over Call of Duty. Uh, Halo does change with some, some features. Um, Madden adds features and at some times and sometimes improves graphics uh like th 13 this year 13 was pretty pretty good you know i will i will admit it was actually pretty good because of the fact that you know your line is actually blocking you know defense is actually playing defense you know you can't throw into triple coverage anymore and get a touchdown off of that you know when you're trying to go deep uh those passes will be picked off in as well as they should be if you're trying to throw in the triple coverage tight triple coverage mind you uh halo added some things they added low of uh, low outs loadouts the graphics have improved vastly for that game um and it's back to master chief it's, it's not like these side stories anymore it's back to master chief so very excited about that i've actually been playing that it's really cool and uh the online is still very solid very solid online play 
But, you know, it, it's... I don't understand, like, Call of Duty, though. Call of Duty somewhat follows the same formula every year. It's getting tired, tiresome to look at Call of Duty games come out. It's kind of like the presidential election this past year. You know, I was absolutely exhausted from the presidential election. <laughs> So uh, that was crazy. But I, w I will never really know why. You know, fanboys there. Uh, number 10, were you underwater when the storm hit? No. And for those who, who don't remember, and I don't know how you don't, uh, Superstorm Sandy hit the East Coast. It hit New York and New Jersey the hardest. But it didn't really hit like places like uh, D.C. and Maryland like too hard. We we got like a, a, a somewhat of a stint of the storm. Uh, did you wear floaties on your arms just in case? I did not. <laughs> I did not. Uh, <laughs> thank you for asking though. And uh, uh, George Lucas, a douche or a genius? George Lucas is absolutely a genius. Um, and I will say this because I've changed my opinion on on George Lucas a lot since I've heard about this. I think like the week that this these questions were posted George Lucas uh, donated four billion dollars from the royalties that he's gonna get from Disney for Star Wars to education mm. try that again George Lucas don't is donating or donated four billion dollars from the uh royalties he gets from star wars from disney buying it from him to education that is a very awesome bold move and a genius move by one person it's something that's going to help millions of kids um across the, 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 the world, probably across the world, across the United States, George Lucas put that much money into it, into our education. That's great. That is fantastic. That's a genius idea. Why, why, why don't more people do, you know, do stuff like this? That's, this is fantastic. Uh, last question from Sky. Do you read any non-school related books like actual books once without pictures the last book i read was black boy it was an assignment in high school that we had to read and i think we had to do like a book report on it or whatever and that's the last book i read was uh black boy and uh very interesting book i, I can't really remember most of the stuff from it now but it was a very interesting read. It was a very cool read, I guess you can say. And, uh, you know, you learn stuff from books like that. You know, you really do. You learn great things from books like that. All right. Uh, I do want to apologize for how late this is, by the way, this FaceTime is. Uh, the first time I, I recorded it, I didn't feel comfortable with posting it uh, because it just seemed like it. Well, this one kind of went on for a long time as well. But um, it's here. So, again, I do apologize for how late this is. Uh, the next one, I don't know when the next one is going to take place, but please uh, please continue to tune in. Uh, we have a Twitter, uh, twitter.com, C-A-W Underground. You can follow us. You can also come to the site if you want to see more stuff like this and other specials. That will be posted here on the YouTube page. Don't forget to subscribe. The link for our website is at uh, www.theindiesource.com slash C-A-W underground. Links will be in the description. And uh, I hope you come by and you do register. And, uh, yeah, thank you for tuning in. Thank you for listening. I'm Norm. Until next time, be safe.